From the past to the future, here we are at Halo Cinematic, home to Zero, Edward Lumley, Demo, and a variety of other characters from the creative mind of William Wall. William's an oddity in the independent filmmaking scene. He's produced several movies almost entirely by himself, including Zero, winner of four of the 2014 San Diego Film Awards. Before we sit down with the man behind the robot, let's take a look at some of his work. sitting down with us to take the time. You're very welcome. Tell me about Zero. Where'd you get the inspiration to make this film? The film was inspired by uh, my grandmother that passed uh, a couple of months before I, I, I started the whole thing. She adapted with, with the times very well. Mm -hmm. However, she never let go of the way things were when she was a, a girl. Mm -hmm. and, and she would always comment about how much the world has really changed. And, and she, she said she was sad for people of today that they couldn't ha you know, have some of that, uh, that innocence in the culture uh, that she felt was missing. And, and that resonated with me and, and I thought, well, that's a great theme to, to carry through into a story. So I, I think it's nice to sort of revisit where we started in entertainment um, and, uh, and remember you know, it worked then too. Because that music, the imagery brings so much atmosphere. And to bring that type of atmosphere to a science fiction world. Mm -hmm. It's just texture upon texture. Did you build Zero? Is that how he came to be? I moved away to Maine, rural Maine, like in a farmhouse. And I didn't have any friends. I didn't have any actors. So I thought, might as well make an actor. And I did. When you don't have funds, you have to be clever. Yeah. Um, and, and so I didn't have one. I don't know anybody who makes robots. So I'm like, well, I'll figure it out. A lot of it was finding parts online, and a lot of the parts weren't robot parts. They're mm -hmm. like uh, parts from different types of things, and I had to sort of wait for them to come in from dif different parts of the world just to find out if they go together and if they match. And it was kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. How long did it take you to, to do all that? Um, I think the entire shoot was like three days. Three days for yeah, the whole thing? but it was four degrees when we started, negative four when we ended. Arming Ludium Q36 Explosive Space Modulator. Ludium Q36 Explosive Space Modulator is armed. Depress red button to destroy planet. Depress red button to destroy planet. Depress red button to destroy planet. Zero is being made now into a feature film. Correct. What's one of the most difficult things taking a short and making it into a full length feature? Certainly financing. What does that take here in San Diego to, to get that money together and actually finance a film? It's, it's interesting, uh, even though we're two hours away from Los Angeles, the center of the entertainment business, not a whole lot of it translates to here. There's a different mindset here. For some reason, even though huge movies have been produced here, yeah. uh, movies that have done very well for very little, you know, like Paranormal Activity, people don't see how independent film makes money or creates an industry. But it absolutely does. I can't think of another place that is more varied and interesting looking than San Diego. From the deserts to the mountains to the oceans, the city, there's so much potential to have profitable, wonderfully produced films uh, come out of this town. It's a strange myriad of things that need to come together. It's investors need to believe in the filmmakers, mm -hmm. and the filmmakers need to produce commercially viable goods mm -hmm. to sell. Once locally produced films start to become profitable, one by one, we'll build an industry together. So what can San Diego and San Diegans do to help? Let's support the industry, the growing industry, and really make something special that, you know, that's my take anyway. Well, that's a challenge, I think, to all San Diegans out there. We have true talent here in San Diego, and it's time, I think, 
that we all band together. We should be supporting each other. Can I get an amen, William? Amen, brother. Thank you, brother. Support local films today. Call the number at the bottom of your screen and support a filmmaker. You could... <laughs> <laughs> Well, William, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with us and talk about Zero and some of the other projects that you got coming up. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much. And um, if you don't mind, I think I'll see myself out. Sure. Seriously, that guy's talent's only matched by his fashion sense. <laughs> I think we're all looking forward to the feature link version of Zero. Wait a minute. Dallas McLaughlin, prepare to be demoralized. You are to comedy what Donald Trump is to hair fashion, and you look like you smell like senior citizens that are primarily fed a diet of government cheeses. Stay tuned to your local public broadcasting station for more substandard programs like Film in Diego. Seriously, this station went downhill after California's gold with Huell Hauser. Thank <laughs> you.